What's up, weirdos? We are back in Miss Survival. This is episode 13. If you missed the first 12, go ahead and check out the playlist in the description. And uh, we need some light in here. And we also need to make another chair because Rachel was sitting in ours. Yeah, don't give me that look. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make a torch. So I think we're going to go ahead and just put it like right here. That'll probably be good. Uh, so uh, let's go in here to our menu. And uh, I think it's there. There it is. Stand torch right there. And it just goes right there. And again, we're going to need two sticks and we need a scrap. All right, we'll go ahead and put that in there. And uh, there it is. It's done. And uh, now what we have to do is actually fill that up. So we're going to go ahead and use some of this biofuel. We're also going to need the matches. So there we go. Grab that. And uh, go ahead and fill this up with Q. There we go. And ignite with a match. There we go. And now we have a little bit of light. In fact, I think I probably need another torch, to be honest. That's probably not going to be enough. Yeah, we're going to need another, another torch in here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to need some sticks. I think I have some sticks here. And if you hear some sounds, uh, some rumbling sounds, uh, don't worry. It's just a thunderstorm. Yeah, it's, it's not my house being bulldozed or something like that. Uh, it's just it's just a thunderstorm in the background. Uh, I had to film today, and uh, unfortunately, it's raining all day. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully the uh, the power doesn't go out and uh, you know screws up all my recording. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make another torch here. There we go. Build that, and we have enough to make an, a, a a third torch if we want to. Let's see how this one goes. All right, that's pretty good. If I set this right over here, yeah, right, right on top of the tinder, right on top of all that tree bark. All right, um, maybe just kind of go in there somewhere without going on top of anything. Okay, that works. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit better. It's a little bit more light. We can actually see what we're doing. Uh, so yeah, I do want to make another chair. And I have some logs here. Uh, I don't have a sawmill. Again, the sawmill is down at, uh, it's all the way down at the new base. And uh, it is dark out there. I really don't want to go out here with the zombies out here. Um, sure. Sure. Yeah, we're just going to come over here and uh, look in here in this locker. There should be... Oh, I left the lockers down there, didn't I? I did. Um, wood. There's some wood. Alright, we're going to grab that. Alright. And uh, look in there. Nothing in there. Okay. Come back in here, and Rachel's going to sleep out here tonight. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, sleep out where the zombies can get you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make another chair, because I'm going to need another chair anyway. I need to keep one on my truck. That's one thing I always like to do, is have a, tr a, uh, a chair... At my truck, we're also going to need nails, uh, and that allows me to, you know, have a chair whenever I go to the mine. It allows me to have a chair whenever I uh, go smash cars and stuff like that. We only need what four nails? Yeah, four nails. That'll be good. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Go in here. Click on the chair. And uh, there are other things in our menu. Again, we can make cabinets and lockers. Uh, we don't need to make lockers right now because we're collecting a bunch of them, but we will be making more soon. You can make tables. Again, the chairs. You can also make uh, target dummies. We are going to make some of those. I'm going to make an archery range uh, as part of my base this, uh, this season. I, th I think it might be kind of fun. Uh, so, yeah, there's different chairs you can make. Uh, we are going to make... Ooh, this is kind of a nice one. We're going to make this one. It's a fancy chair. Alright, so now we have two chairs. I, yeah, I do like that. I do like that. Um, let me put my gun away so I don't accidentally shoot it. Okay. And uh, we're going to go ahead and rotate this. And I think we're going to put this... Yeah, let's put this in here. This will be Rachel's timeout whenever she does something stupid. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, let's see. What else can we do? We have all these logs here. Um, I could make some more wood. I don't necessarily need to. I think I'm going to keep those in my inventory just in case uh, the zombies don't leave us alone tonight. Put this stuff in here. Don't need that for now. Now we can put this in here as well. Okay. 
And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to sleep. I'm going to turn this off because I don't necessarily need it. Okay. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to sleep. So uh, just go ahead and press 7. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to sleep for... I think we're going to go try to go for 6 hours? Yeah, let's try to go 6 hours. Get that fatigue back up because we've been doing a lot of work. All right, we heard something. Let's try to go another um, another two hours at least. All right, we're not being bothered, which is great. Uh, we are going to get hungry here pretty soon. We are thirsty. Uh, I'm going to try to eat first. Let's see, let's. Uh, I think we got more food in here. Yeah, we got this. Actually, this this will fill us up a lot a lot more than um, than what we actually need. So I think we're going to go ahead and eat one of these tomato sauce. We're going to have to go for the bear as well. Now that we have some salt, we can actually start preserving some of that meat. Uh, I got another hammer in my inventory. I don't really need it. I think I can probably put it away. Eh, maybe not. You know what? I'm going to keep that 27 on me. Use that up. Use that up first. Put that up here. Okay. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, have a nice drink. There we go. That filled us up pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do a little organization here. I'll put this down here. Okay, that, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. And uh, we'll just put uh, the food right there. Put the scrap. We'll just put the scrap up here. There we go. All right, that's good. All right, uh, so, uh, yes, uh, our bow should be ready. There it is. Very nice. So now we have uh, we have a boat. We have a quiver with some arrows in it. We don't have very many arrows. I think we have like six or eight. Let's take a look. Yeah, we have six arrows. So uh, the good thing about the hunting arrows is uh, they are less likely to break. So uh, you can use them quite a bit uh, unless you lose them, which can happen. Uh, but uh, the basic arrows, they break a lot easier, and they're not as powerful. Uh, the hunting arrows are usually a, a one-shot kill on, uh, on the bandits. And uh, I think they're a one-shot kill on the zombies if you hit them in the head. The, uh, the basic arrows are not. The basic arrows, sometimes you have to hit the zombies two or three times. Same thing with the bandits. Uh, and I've hit the zombies in the head with the basic arrows, and it doesn't kill them. So uh, you're probably more likely better off just using the spear, in all honesty. Or, uh, you know, just uh, slash them with, uh, with, with a machete uh, if you can get close enough to them. Uh, so let's see, let's take a look at some of the stuff that we have to build in here. I think we have most of the stuff built already. We're going to need a watering can at some point. I think we might have built one already. Uh, small animal traps, that's one thing we could make. We also need to make a carjack device. I'm going to hold off on that. And then uh, we're going to have to upgrade our workbench in order to fix guns. Again, we have a few broken guns in here. Right here. Yeah, a couple broken M4s. Uh, so we can actually uh, fix those up at some point uh, once we uh, upgrade our workbench. And again, uh, we could make some more hunting arrows, but we're, we're going to need a lot more feathers. I, I don't think we, I think we use all our all our feathers up. Uh, yeah, wall lights we could make some of those, but we don't have a generator yet. So uh, yeah, we're kind of uh, kind of at a standstill with that. I think we're going to head back down to the new base and just make sure there's no zombies out here. Rachel's still sleeping, so that's good. Uh, yeah, we're going to head back down to the new base. I'm going to do a little bit more work on the uh, on the cabin. And then I also need to start picking up parts, um, scrap components, stuff like that. Uh, because I am going to make some cattle fence around my new base. And uh, I'm definitely going to need that for, for uh, building the fence. So uh, let's go ahead and head back down, get our lights on. Rachel can stay here. She's safe. She's got a gun. All right, and we're just gonna drive through the woods like this. Yeah, wonderful. And I think we're gonna—I think we're gonna kill the bear next episode. I think we're gonna kill the bear, and we also need to go save another res uh, uh, another survivor, do another rescue mission. Uh, I—I'm hoping that we'll get Scott, and then we can uh, have him cut down some trees. But until then, we're gonna have to cut down all the trees ourselves. And there's the bear. Man, I'm gonna love just having my 
my cabin right here, my base right here. Easy to get the bear. I'm gonna go ahead and drive over to here. So if we have to jump up here, we can. I don't think we're gonna have to. In case we get like a miss later on. Okay. And we're gonna head over here, do some more work on the cabin. We have our hammer with us. We have some logs, okay. Go ahead and do some building. We still have 70 hours left to do on this, so uh, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a few days, that's for sure. I'm trying to break it up a little bit. I don't want to do it all at once because it just it, it it doesn't make for a good video. I can't I can't film myself making a cabin the whole video. So uh, th this is what we're going to do. We're just going to break it up a little bit, and uh, I might do a little bit off of um, off camera. How are we doing on food and hunger? Do we have anything with us? We might have some food over here. Hop up here. Can I get in here, please? There we go. All right. Um, we got we got a can of pop. Okay. That's not much. Here, here's some fruit cans. All right. So we do have a little bit of food. Not much. Not much. We are gonna have to go hunt that go hunt that bear. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to do that. We might have to do that this episode. All right. Um, need some more logs. So, right here. Go ahead and grab these. Nope. Nope. Just want the logs. Come on. Give me the logs. Give me the logs. Okay. We're not gonna be able to pick that log up until the cabin's done. Uh, that's wonderful. Grab that. Can I pick you up? No, I can't. Can't pick him up. All right. All right. Come back over here. Hop on here. And uh, let's get our hunger and thirst up a little bit. The nice thing about these fruit cans is they bring up both. Okay. Let's eat another one. All right. That'll be good for now. We'll keep going. And there's a mist. And again, uh, we're on top of a locker, so they won't bother us. Go ahead, and uh, I think we're going to go to the end of the day. We're going to head back up to the cabin, uh, get something to eat, and then I think we're going to go ahead and hunt the bear. And uh, we're out of logs, we're out of uh, wood, and we're out of nails. So I, I think that's a good place to leave off, unless we have some stuff in here. Uh, we've got some nails in here, and some wood. All right, uh, we'll put some nails in. Pop back up here. Okay, that'll be good. And uh, yeah, might as well just empty my inventory in here. I'm gonna take that salt because we are gonna use that. Uh, I need to put that away. Put all this stuff in here as well. Okay, and we'll put this firewood in here. We don't need that right now. Okay, actually, you know what? I probably might need that firewood. Yeah, we're going to keep that. And the rest of this stuff, uh, yeah, I'll put some of this food in here. That'll be good. Okay. Heading back. Hop into the truck. Save first, because we got a lot done today. Okay. Lights on, and here we go. Back to the cabin. I'm going to have to cut down some of these trees so I can make a proper road through here. And again, this is going to be our farm right here. Hey, Chubby! I'm going to eat you tomorrow. That's right. I'm going to eat you tomorrow. All right. I wish where there was a better way to get through here. I don't really, I don't really like this entrance. I wish we could destroy that. Hey, Rachel! Yeah, she must have a boring life here. Alright. Turn those lights off. Let's see how our engine's doing. 36%. Okay. It hasn't really gone down, so it's... It's still okay. Alright. And, uh, let's see. Water... We're 
we can probably fill this up. Let me go to the distiller. Fill that all the way up. There we go. Okay. And uh, we're going to go back in here. Is this done? This is done. Alright, so that is done. We can make some leather. Or we can have Rachel make us some leather. Okay. Um, so we'll go in here. Leather. Assign this to Rachel. There we go. It's going to take her 20 minutes to do that. And she's going to go right over there and start making it. Great. And uh, we're going to get something to eat. Let's see. We've got food in here. There we go. Beef can. We'll go ahead and eat this. I'll bring our hunger almost all the way up, and then we're going to go ahead and have a nice drink. Going to put these antibiotics away. Okay. And uh, there's all the salt right there. That's good. So uh, we'll have that ready for us. I think we're going to actually, we're actually going to take all that stuff down to our our new base. I think that's probably a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and grab the drying rack. Is this done? That's done too. Okay. Yeah, grab that. Put this on the truck. Okay. Oh, it is getting dark. It is getting dark. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, wow. Is she already done? Wow, that didn't take long at all. Okay. Um, the animal guts... They are 92%. They are dry. Uh, so we can use those to make another bow. I think it would be a good idea to have a second bow. Uh, I am going to need rope for that. And I don't think I have a lot of stuff for that. Unless it's out. It might be... Uh, where, where's all the leaves at? Should have a lot of leaves in here somewhere. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Um, that should be enough. And we also need a bunch of tree bark, so we'll grab some of that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make some rope. We can't have Rachel do that. Uh, anything in the basic craft menu, uh, you can't have your survivors make that stuff. You have to make it yourself. Uh, but there are some things in the basic craft menu that are at the workbench, uh, like sticks and stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, some of this other stuff, uh, like uh, rope, you have to make it yourself. Uh, the dried meat, you have to do yourself. Uh, firewood, you can make a stump, and you can have them cut firewood. The wood, obviously, you can have them cut it at the sawmill. Uh, soil sack, we have to make that ourselves. There's a basic torch. I've never made that. I, I think it sucks. Um, and then, again, arrows. You can have your survivors make the arrows, too. Uh, wooden shield would be nice. It would be nice for uh, taking on the infected. All right. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this rope. We need four. We can make... We can make four. That's all we can make. I think that's all we need. You can see our fatigue is all the way down, so we we definitely need to sleep. Well, let's just hope we don't get uh, we don't get any uh, zombies visiting us tonight. That would that would not be good. Okay, and uh, for the the uh, bow, uh, we also need twelve sticks. I've got sticks in here. There we go, and we'll grab some of those. We'll go ahead and make some some more. Make them all. There we go. Okay, that's good. And now we're going to go ahead and have Rachel make us another bow. It's always good to have a second one. So there we go. Assign this to Rachel. There we go. And she's going to come in and uh, do some more work. I hope I didn't wake her up. I hope she wasn't sleeping. Oh, there she is. All right. Uh, I think she was sitting in timeout. She was sitting in the timeout chair. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, our fatigue is all the way down, so let's try to sleep. Uh, before that, let me put some of this stuff away, though. I don't need all this stuff on me. Um, the sticks I can keep on me. We'll put the tree bark in here. And uh, we'll put the leather in here. And we'll keep our bow with us. And there's some scrap here I can put away. That'll be good. Okay. And, uh, yeah. That, 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 that's good. We'll, we'll go ahead and sleep now. Right, try to sleep. Let's let's hope they don't they don't show up. All right. Uh, let's go for seven hours. Right, get that fatigue all the way back up. All right. That's a lot better. Okay. Cool. Uh, the bow is done. So we'll go ahead and grab that. 
And I'm going to go ahead and put that in here for now. Okay. And we're going to head on down to the bear. Oh, hello there. You trying to drive my truck? Yeah. Yeah, you're not you're not allowed to drive my vehicle, zombies. I do not want that at all. All right. Oh, turn. There we go. Now we have 12 salt. So, with the 12 salt, that's going to allow us to make um I think that's going to allow us to make 6 Six uh, large chunks of meat. We're, we're able to use six large chunks of meat. So, I'm trying to do this math in my head right now. That's all we can get is just six meat. Hop up here. Uh, the bear's right down there. Is he going to come up here? I think he's going to come up here. I can also grab some um, some more meat and just cook that up. Um, I might have to get him to chase me. Hey there! Yeah, okay, here it comes. Okay, there we go. And, uh, oh, maybe he's not going to... Okay, well, let's try out the bow. We do need, we do need to try that out. Shoot him. There we go. Alright, get him to come over here, and uh, now go ahead and stab him. Spear, there we go. So he can't get to us. It's a bear! That's right. It's a bear. And uh, he's just standing there. He's just letting us stab him. That, that's great. There. Good job, bear. You're, you're a good bear. You're a good bear. Okay. And uh, there's our arrow, so we'll go ahead and grab that. And uh, go ahead and butcher now. I'm going to go like that so I can see if there's a mist coming. Okay. And uh, again, when you're butchering, always use the knife on the body whenever you're trying to get meat. Uh, whenever you're using, um, whenever you're trying to get meat from the head, use the axe. It's the best to use. Uh, so let's go ahead and get meat from the body. As much as we can. Eight units. Okay, that'll be good. It's going to take us two hours. Again, I like to hunt early in the morning because the mist usually doesn't show up until at least nine o'clock. That's the earliest I've ever seen it. So if you can do all your hunting early in the morning, you don't have to worry about the mist. You don't have to worry about zombies attacking you while you're trying to get meat. All right, and uh, we'll go ahead and take some of this animal fat. We're going to need that. Okay, that's going to take us to 9 o'clock. And uh, is that a mist? Mm, I'm going to save, just in case. And uh, let's get a little bit of meat from the head. That's right, I'm taking your brain. Alrighty. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to head back and start cooking up some of that meat. I think that's probably a good idea. And then we'll hang the rest of the meat on our drying rack here. As long as I don't crash the truck. Back up to the house. The cabin. This is a good location to start out at, honestly. I used to not think so, but uh, now when I you know really think about it, this is a good location. You don't have to worry about bandits attacking you. Uh, now it used to be the bandits could attack you. I don't know if they still can. I know they used to. Uh, so let's go ahead over here to our fire and uh, potato that uh, it's gone now. Um, we're going to cook the stuff that... Actually, you know what? I'm going to cook the stuff that is the highest percentage. Do that first. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to use that for the, um, for the uh, dry meat. Again, you need two salt per chunk of meat. Okay, and that's going to give... How much is that going to give us? That's going to be... Uh, you, you get four four things of dry meat per um, per chunk. So actually, that's going to give us 24. We only have 18 on our uh, on our drying rack. So yeah, let's just do five. Even then, I think that's going to be too much. Oh well, we'll, we'll just do five. All right, and uh, we need some firewood in here. So go ahead and put that in there. Okay. 
And uh, let's also go over to our pot. There we go. Uh, this animal fat is at 0%, so... That, okay, that's almost ready, so we'll go just go ahead and start this up. Okay. And we're going to cook that up, and I have some more firewood in here. So we'll grab some of that. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and store this firewood in here for now. Okay, now this should be done. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put these in. And so that should take a little while to melt down. And again, uh, with the um, with the meat, if you take a little drink, it speeds up it speeds up time enough that this should be almost perfect, almost well done. You can eat the meat when it's well when it's medium, uh, but you could get sick from it. I've seen it happen, so it is possible. Um, so that's why I like to cook mine well done. And uh, it's still still taking some time. Look at that. Take a lot of time. And it's almost ready. I don't want to drink again because, yeah, see, there we go. Alright, and uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put one more in here. Cook that up. And uh, we can go ahead over to our drying rack right here. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll put our, we'll, we'll put our stuff on here. Uh, the dry meat, it takes 20 minutes, so I'm not going to do that quite yet. Uh, I have this other meat here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this meat in here. Actually, let's put it in here. The cooked meat. Uh, if you have that in your inventory, whenever you go to make the uh, the dried meat, it'll actually use the cooked meat if it's first. Like what what will happen is it'll take everything from the top and then go to the right. So if you have stuff up here, if you have cooked meat up here and then your raw meat down here, it'll actually use your cooked meat for the dry meat, and you don't want to do that. Alright, how's this coming? It's still raw. Alright, little drink. Just, just a little drink. Should be good now. It's medium. Okay, well we're just going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, we have our other water barrel. We're going to have to take both of these down. Uh, we could actually get some more water distilled. We're at 5... So we still have a lot of water there, so we're actually good for now. Alright, this is done. Oh. Grab that. Okay, cool. And uh, we are not quite hungry enough to use that, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in here and keep this. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make some dried meat now. I can put this arrow back in my quiver, so let's do that real quick. Okay, add arrow. There we go. Didn't lose anything. That's good. And uh, let, yeah, let's go ahead and make some dried meat now. So we have our salt. And we have our meat, so we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to take uh, 20 minutes to do four. We'll do four just so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, oh, look at that. We've got ourselves a mist coming in. All right. Uh, how's this doing? That still needs some time. Okay. Well, we're, we're just going to have to sit in here for a little bit, kind of wait it out. There's Rachel again. She doesn't sit in the chairs for some reason. Uh, she's all bugged out. I don't know what's going on here. Um, maybe she is uh, talking to a ghost in this chair. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's why she's, uh, you know, levitating like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sit in here for a couple hours. Actually, before I do that, let me add some more wood to this. Because it needs more wood. Needs a lot of wood, actually. Add as much as we can. We got a little more. No, that's all we can add, really? Two hours? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, okay. That, that's fine. We're going to sit in here. We're going to wait out the mist. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to sleep the mist first. Um... Please, please let me sleep. Please let me sleep. Uh, they're out there. But they're not attacking us. Uh, actually, no, that was Rachel doing that. What are you doing, Rachel? Crazy. She's crazy. Uh, and this, uh, this went out. So we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to get that going again. Okay. And uh, let's go back to cook. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I want. There we go. Ignite. Okay. We're going to have to make some more matches at some point. I think we have a decent amount right now, though. Yeah, we got 19 in there, and I think we have, like, t at least 10 in here. 
Yeah, we got 17 there. Oh, we got a ton of matches right now. We're good on matches for a while. There's a feather. I'm going to pick that up because I do need the feathers to make arrows. Okay, and blueberry right there is the blueberry. Uh, the blueberries don't give you much. Yeah, we'll go ahead and eat it so you can see. But uh, the hunger and the thirst don't go up very much. Just a tiny, tiny amount. You'd need to have probably 50 blueberries for it to actually be effective, and it would take too long to eat them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the... Let's see. Is that going to be enough fuel? Um, it might not be. I mean, might need to add a couple more. I should have just let that fire go out. I just wasted a bunch of firewood. All right. Let's put one more, put that in there. I think that'll be enough. Alright, uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and put this stuff on the drying rack. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make some more. We'll use up the rest, there you go. It's going to take us 60 minutes. And uh, then we'll go ahead and put this on the rack. There we go. And uh, there we go. We're, we're set for a little bit. We, we are going to go ha have to go hunting again, but uh, not until we get some more salt, because we're going to need salt. Uh, one way to get salt is kill the zombies. And uh, that'll be very important that uh, once we get our cabin built, that we get uh, you know a nice little fence around the front. I, like, give yourself a little room. I'm going to probably do like a fence from like here over, and then down, and then over, something like that. Uh, and that'll allow me to harvest the uh, the infected a little bit easier because uh, right now the only way we can kill them is through the door, and uh, th that's just not going to work for us. Uh, so I think we're going to leave it there. We got quite a bit done actually. Uh, still have to work on that cabin. I might do a little bit off uh, off camera. I also need to start getting some more metal and uh, components. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Uh, I, I think we'll leave it there though. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment. Share it with your friends and subscribe to get more videos. Alright, goodbye.